Welcome to Avoiding the Literature Landslide, Part 2A, Choosing the Right Resources for Your Question. This is actually a two-part module in a series of three full modules designed to introduce you to asking research or clinical questions and finding the best resources for your questions. Our objectives are to review the difference between background and foreground questions and to identify Brown University Library resources that can help you answer your questions. To review, there are two major kinds of clinical question, a background question and a foreground question. A background question is asked about general knowledge of a disease or condition. Answers are typically found in textbooks or clinical summary resources. A foreground question asks a specific question about managing a patient or population. For example, you might be comparing best treatment options for, or the most accurate diagnostic tests. This information can be found in clinical summaries, systematic reviews, practice guidelines, or original research studies, such as randomized control trials or cohort studies. A background question might be, what is the standard treatment for uncomplicated acute bronchitis? A foreground question might be, in adults with uncomplicated acute bronchitis, does amoxicillin or amoxiclav reduce the length and severity of illness? Or, if you're focusing on a population, you might ask an outcome-based question, such as, in adults with uncomplicated acute bronchitis, does antibiotic treatment contribute to antibiotic resistance? In our previous module, we listed many of the resources that could help answer these questions. In this module, we'll focus on a smaller set of them. We'll start with resources for a background question. The library has two main guides with our core health sciences resources. The link at the top was designed to get you to the resource you want quickly. For instance, if you know that you need to get PubMed and just want Brown's link for it. The page at the second link walks you through the process a little bit. We'll start there. This page is designed to reflect the thought process of a busy student. Do you have just a moment and need a quick answer? Or do you have a little more time to dig into the resources? Since we're starting with the background question, we'll start with one of our textbook collections, Access Medicine. If you've used Harrison's online, you've used Access Medicine. Let's get started with a quick search. I search for acute bronchitis and I quickly bring up the reference from, from, from Harrison's. I also bring up some other uh, reference sources such as Tintinelli's Emergency Medicine or Fishman's Pulmonary Diseases and Disorders. Let's go to Fishman's. Note that Access Medicine brings you to the broad chapter headings where you drill in to get the information about what you're looking for. Let's look at some of the other resources available through Access Medicine. If I go to Quick Reference, there are some other good tools in here that you can use, such as diagnostic tests, calculators, an English-Spanish dictionary, and more. We're going to go to the Differential Diagnosis tool, which is also known as Diagnosaurus. Diagnosaurus allows you to do a search by symptom, by disease, by organ system. So, for instance, if you have a symptom of abdominal pain and fever, what are the conditions that you would want to evaluate in your patient? Next, we're going to look at Clinical Key. Clinical Key is another resource with many in textbooks, including Ferries and Cecil and Goldman. It also has tools such as procedures, consult, practice guidelines, and more. We'll go ahead and do our acute bronchitis search. When there's a topic overview, Clinical key will bring it up directly to the right. So here you see we have the Ferry's Clinical Advisor and a topic overview. 
It gives you information about the diagnosis and the treatment. It also brings up your topic in chapter summaries or in articles. If you need to, if you won't get too many articles at the top, you can narrow by books there at the left. Note, Cecil and Goldman's Medicine is one of the one of the textbooks that it links to. We'll go ahead and open up the Cons Current Therapy article. Note that in Clinical Key there is a PDF option. Clinical Key does allow you to download chapter PDFs if you are logged into a personal account. Access Medicine, Clinical Key, Dynamed, all of these allow you to create your own personal account, which will allow you to log in directly to the resource rather than going through the library's website each time. Clinical Key's login does allow you to download PDFs of book chapters in addition to images that you could use in a presentation. Returning to our guide, we'll focus on one other resource from the background information, and that's clinical pharmacology. Clinical pharmacology is from the same company that brings us Clinical Key, so you can use the same account to log in for remote access. This is a good resource for drug information. So I search for moxipacillin in this case. I want to get to the drug monograph. If there were a black box warning, it would be right here. If I go to the indications and dosage, this is for the adult, pediatric is to the right. And of course, it gives you information on how it's, it can be supplied, what it should be used for, and more. Those are all of the background resources we're going to show in this session. The next module, Module 2B, will show you resources and techniques to answer foreground questions. And the last module will show you article databases, full text journal access, and how to get articles when Brown does not have the full text. Thank you.